This month's Love Dub vlog is with Addison Riley. She is 12 years old and is from Frisco, Texas. Her dad, John, and her mom, Lee, are some of her biggest supporters. This team put on chili cook-offs, silent auctions, and a fun run. Addison surpassed her goal and raised $50,074.93 to be exact and is a top candidate in the Teen of Impact program. You will also get to see Count Shanks get a surprise award named after the remarkable Addison for all of her volunteer efforts with the American Heart Association. Now, let's meet Addison. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Love the Vlog. I am here with Addison Riley and her mom, Lee. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are y'all today? We're doing great. We're awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to start off with a couple of questions so the audience can get to know y'all. Just a couple of warm-ups. So the first one, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Mary Poppins. For sure. Great movie. Okay, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is crabs because they're from Maryland. A lot of seafood down there. Wow, oh, good. Okay, what is your favorite family activity? My favorite family activity is going golfing with my family. I'm a big golfer playing tournaments, and it's just, I enjoy it. Wow, that's so fun. I wish I was good at golfing, so you're going to have to teach me. All right, so the Heart Association always talks about your why. So why are you advocating for the American Heart Association, or why are you raising money for it? So I want to know, Addison, what is your why? Well, we've had a lot of family members and friends been affected by heart disease and stroke. So we wanted to get the word out to the community about this awareness. And I just love being a role model for other people. It makes you feel very good about yourself. Yeah, it does. All right, Addison, your goal was $21,000, but you ended up raising a little over $50,000. Tell me your favorite way that you raised money. My favorite way was we had multiple chili cook-offs. We had one in Maryland and one here in Texas. Wow. with um silent auctions and the one in texas we had a fun run where we raised over six thousand dollars wow that is so much fun i aspire to be more like you addison that's really amazing um i also saw that you created a tiktok page tell me a little bit about what you post on tiktok as part of the teen of impact program well again i'm a big golfer i love doing trick shots and everything so i figured i do a little putting trick shot every day during my campaign to just always raise awareness um, over different social media platforms. And I just named it Addison Putts for Hearts. Wow, that's so fun. Um, that's also a great way just to reach out to people, especially your age. TikTok is the new thing. So that's really awesome that you found so many different outlets to be able to reach out to people like that. But really what we're also here to talk about today is that we have someone else in the room that is going to come on and talk with us. And she's here for an important reason today. So Counts, will you join me on the couch? Of course. Okay. Counts. Hello. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so this is Addison Riley and her mom, Lee. Um, Counts thinks that she's going to be here to just talk about her why for the AHA, but really there's a lot more okay. to it. Are we ready? Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Okay. All right. So Addison was in the Southwest region inaugural teen of impact competition okay. of 25 teens and preteens. She was one of them and she ended up raising the most money out of all of them. She is a true rock star. I heard that $50,000 from the other side of the room and my jaw dropped. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know, when she said your goal was 21,000 and then you over doubled it, that's incredible. Okay. Yeah. True rock star. And at such a young age too, mm -hmm. that's just amazing. Um, but over eight weeks, y'all were able to build a team of friends and competed to earn the most impact points, which were earned by raising funds and completing weekly missions. Um, so we are proud to share that Addison Riley is the Southwest region teen of impact 2022 win winner. So Addison is here today, and she would like to share something with you, Counts. Okay. Hello, Counts. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard from the HAA that you have been an incredible volunteer for many years. You were in the top fundraisers for the American Sweetheart Program. You've led anti-vaping campaigns, appeared on statewide news programs on behalf of the HAA, spoken to lawmakers, and recorded hands-on CPR for training for classrooms in your community. 
And if you weren't busy enough, you also volunteer for the Vestito Rojo and Heart Walk numerous times. I'm joining Abby today to share with you that you are the recipient of the American Heart Association's 2022 Fundraising Advocacy Volunteer of the Year Award. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was not expecting this. Wow. Oh my God. And it's so cute and it has her name on it. Oh, I know. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So I was not expecting this. Well, oh, oh my goodness. This just means so much to me. Oh, counts. <laughs> okay. Well, we do want to know, so counts, okay. what has inspired you to be such a passionate advocate? Really, it all started before I was born. When my mom was in college, her dad passed away from a heart attack. And growing up, I never knew either one of my grandfathers. They both passed away before I was born. And so the AHA immediately came into our life from that. It's been something that I've heard about just my entire life. My mom's actually one of her first jobs out of college was working with the AHA. But really, it didn't hit me that the AHA was doing so much work until I, was, I went into the high school. And I realized how big of a deal baby was. And so if heart, heart disease and heart issues weren't bad enough, my generation and many others are enabling other heart issues and we are starting a new epidemic with vaping. And so with that, e-cigarette use has really tied, tied me into the American Heart Association and showing that I don't want my generation to have to lose their life um, to another heart-related issue like my grandfather did before I was born. And so it's really come full circle to me um, and just hoping that we can make the most impact of the AHA and decline our numbers of e-cigarette use and making sure yeah. that just other people aren't losing grandparents before they're born yeah. too. So, yeah. Okay, well, both of you guys, have amazing stories and have just been such great advocates for the American Heart Association over this past year and many years before that. So I just want to thank you guys so much, not only from me, but from everyone at the AHA. We just thank y'all so much. Y'all have done so much. Um, and if y'all want to be like them and get involved and raise money or even just be an advocate and join me in one of an interview, just text Abby, A-B-B-Y, to 46839 and you can get involved. So thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye, thank you.